Our members event is back and it's bigger than ever. Even more exclusive launches. Even more double discounts. Even more lowest ever prices. Even more online clearance goodies. Even more multi-buy members offers. And with interest-free FlexiPay to help spread the cost of your shop, add up to 30% savings. Join us for the biggest members event ever, only on Create & Craft. Yes, it is the biggest members event ever, apparently. Yes, my name is Nigel May and welcome to Create & Craft. We are in the middle of our club members event. It launched this morning, goes on right the way throughout the weekend. Basically, it means we've got massive discounts on things if you are a club member. Triple discounts, we've got double discount, we've got flexi offers, we've got postage offers. It's all going on. So check everything out on the website, createandcraft.com. But this time on a Thursday, midday, good afternoon, uh, we, uh, we always have destination mixed media which basically means something a little bit different if you like to add texture and color and dimension and get the paints and the inks and the effects out then this is definitely the destination for you and um, if you have a thirst for all things mixed media well we're going to quench that thirst the next 90 minutes with of course the fabulous thirsty brush a company that i absolutely adore because they bring something different to the mix now we're here on Crate and craft but also for the next 90 minutes we are next 90 minutes we are also on youtube we are on the stamps by me youtube channel so hello to everybody over there as well <laughs> i say we me and the fabulous claire manning as well hi, look over there which is fabulous and there, hi to everyone on youtube you're on Niger. youtube you're a youtube sensation as we speak. international uh, mixed media indeed. international mixed media glamour puss that's oh, what i'm going to call fabulous. you um, can we talk about mm. our brand new collection we've actually got four brand new items for you a couple of back in stocks as well and our main item is on four bonus flexi payments as well which is brilliant so i think you're going to absolutely love this if you love that geo kind of feel that you may have seen in stamps and bits and pieces before this set of dies that you're going to absolutely adore Double discount for our club members and four flexi payments on this one. All of this that you are seeing here, the most wonderful collection, dog, butterfly, the unicorn as well, all from Thirsty Brush, giving you something adorable, but something adorable in a completely different way. If you have a look at some of the samples that we've actually got in the studio, you can just see how beautifully eclectic you've actually got here now what you've actually got you've got the stamps up here and then you've also got the dies as well i'll flip them around in a moment but you can see you are getting for 71.99 which is a double discount you are getting so much creativity you have the unicorn you have the fabulous butterfly you have the wonderful unicorn as well there's a heart in there there's an owl there's a cat in there i love the fact that you've actually got extra that's my favorite cat nap time i love that card it's just <laughs> glorious, isn't it? I love the fact that you've got something funky here, something quite modern here, but also you can make this as celebratory as you want. I love this one over here. Where is it? This wow, amazing with a unicorn. Something like that. I just think at the moment is what we need, isn't it? I mean, it just, well, to be honest, it doesn't even mean just for the moment, for anything. I mean, that's glorious in the rainbow colours. You know, if you know somebody that's one in a million unique, send that to them straight away. That's going to make them very happy and, uh, you know, earn you some brownie points, which is always good. <laughs> um, let's talk about price, because literally all of these here, and I said about the dyes, you might do... Oh, Nigel. Ignore that. Sorry, YouTube. There you go. Uh, look, you can sit on YouTube. The Black Nigel's knocked something over again. I think I knocked something over last time we were on YouTube as well. Uh, you can see that you have got the dies on the back as well. Uh, and then the stamps on the front. Everything perfectly sized to go together, Claire. Yeah, so they're actually quite unique, these dies, because they don't just give you an outline uh, for the uh, main shape. They cut out all that lovely geometric detail. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to be able to line those up because sometimes people have that problem if you've ever had that with stamping before. And then when you add the die after, I'm going to show you a really quick technique. Lovely stuff. Now, apparently we are busy both on YouTube and, of course, on the website right now. Bernie, Christine as well. Christine says, oh, Nigel's doing it again. Yes, sorry, I'm at <laughs> it again. My apologies. Uh, we've got Christy there as well. Basically, everybody, hello to you all. So can we go through the boards and show mm. us exactly what we've got here? We'll start with the cats that we have for you. The cat comes with the dog, Cat and it? the dog. So, absolutely, this is... Think about your pets. 
think about, I always think craft lovers and animal lovers so go together. And you might have seen before the show, I shared some pictures of my animals at home. So you guys share yours as well. So this could be... Have you got any pets? I've Nigel? got a pet cat called Oscar. Okay. Well, so do you send... off colour this morning. Oh, bless him. He wouldn't him. eat, and that's not like him because he's normally ravenous. Oh, well, I hope he's okay. I so do I. So do you send cards to and from your cat? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Not so... to, but from. Yeah. <laughs> I do to, from. Uh, my Father's sister Day has a cat, so I do a card from my dog and my two cats to her cat. It gets crazy mm. so these are absolutely perfect for that and you can make them as modern or traditional as you like you can use the stamp on its own and you can color in and make those colors perfect to match the markings on your animal what about animal charities is it a complete angel perfect. policy yeah completely free angel policy so make and sell as much as you like so you can use stamp on its own die on its own but then when you put the two together they are just beautiful they are magic because they're the right size also the people at thirsty brush have said you can use these with your myos you make your own screens also you can use them with your scan and cut as well not a problem there's one with a cat look best friend isn't that just glorious love that uh, and then you can see with the dog as well i love the dog i think that on a t-shirt would be quite great wouldn't it and he kind of i know he's not going to be every dog because it's kind of impossible to do in one dog stamp but he does kind of fit quite a lot of uh, mm. of dog kind of their ear shape and their face shape doesn't it? It's a pooch which we love. Pooch. What's the next one? So the next one we've got the heart and the unicorn so mixed in with those animals we've got some kind of classic designs that you're going to need in your stash like the heart. I think as well that kind of looks like my husband said you could put an extra line on the top make that a diamond which yes, would be could. nice it's for diamond -like. engagement or diamond uh, anniversary and of course the unicorn which is fabulous for young girls cards or just being fabulous cards. As my granddaughter calls it, <laughs> Noonicorn. It's a Noonicorn. And that is a party bag made by Kerry and my design team. And I know we can't have parties right now, but can you imagine if you had a daughter, niece, granddaughter wanting those bags? That would be so cool. She'd What's the happy. next one, Claire? We've got the owl and the butterfly. So um, the butterfly, again, one of those classic ones. Use the stamp, the die, either or on its own and then together. And the owl works perfectly for... Look at this one from Kerry as well. Clever clogs. That's fair. But then loads of people are into owls as well, aren't they? Uh, very, very busy for these. Also, we do have everything individually as well. So if you don't want everything together as a collective, you can get them individually. If you want to go for the individual duos, your first flexi would be £16.99. Uh, for £1 and a penny more, you can have the entire collection and flexi pay on, uh, as a club member on flexi. Wow, well, I didn't know so it's that for. Oh, is that the event? Is yeah, it? it's the way to do it. Basically, with your club discount and your flexi pay, it's like pop it in your basket. Mm. Pounds and a penny more, you get everything. 10% yeah. already gone on this collection if you'd like to go for it. The Pussycat, the Puppy Dog, the Noonicorn, the Fabulous Heart, <laughs> the Owl and the Butterfly. Plus, of course, you've got all of those wonderful extra bits like birthday, it's your day, best wishes, you can mix and match, best friend, party time for you, you are awesome. Whatever you want to put, really. Uh, 586546 is your item number, 20% club discount. Uh, three ways to order. You can either get a lot of metal and a lot of stampage for your money via the app, via the website or via the phone lines. The website is, of course... Tell us, Dame Josephine of Craft. It is, of course, all the W's dot. Createandcraft.com. Diction every time. Createandcraft.com. Hear me in the cheap seats, people. That's what she's saying. Uh, right, we've got more for you as well. Uh, let's check out these stencils. These are just glorious. Brand new today. I am loving the big paw print. That's my favourite. Aren't they cool? So I'd they are like designed a up my arm. to go exactly with those geometric uh, animals and other designs they're going to fit behind and I'm going to show you ways can you see some of them look a little bit like paint splashes as well mm. uh, the ones that haven't got a specific shape to them they're like paint splashes so this is a way that if you don't feel confident in using your paints and getting that perfect background I can show you a super quick way to do that the paws obviously with the cat and the dog you can layer the heart or the unicorn over the big heart ones and then of course the feather is going to go that way uh, really yeah. well with the owl but this is how they look when this isn't watercolour although it gives you a watercolour look that's actually using uh, distress inks 
I think they're fab, especially that paw print. But of I'm course, you that. can use your watercolours. Accordingly, uh, <laughs> five eight six five four seven is your item number on that one. Fifteen pounds and nineteen pence is your price. Uh, two flexes on that one as well means all you pay today is what seven pounds something. So well worth popping in your basket. You can see again. I mean, these work for so many different occasions. Hello, friend. That's everything right now, isn't it? It really is. Um, this. Oh, you've made cards for me today, I've got to say, and everybody else out there that just wants to have a happy time. We that's just want beautiful. a joyous unicorn rainbow party. It's euphoria. Me. That's what it is. <laughs> um, look at that as well. It's your 17th. I mean, they're the heart, but you're right. Put a line across the top. It's a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. And that's like Kardashian sized, isn't it? That one. Uh, five eight six <laughs> five four seven. I know Bernie on YouTube's going like, oh, we've got to be quick today. Things are selling out fast. You're not wrong, Bernie. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, Twenty percent of our stencils have already gone. So if you are loving them, pop them into your basket now. Uh, five eight six five four seven is the item number. Uh, now another fabulous item for you. Come this way. Am I wondering? Am I wondering? Oh, I can't wonder. I'm going now and just see what happens. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we've got our fabulous... Hey, which one's that? Hi there. Uh, it's like the paving and the geo. It's this one over here, isn't it? Is that that one? Yeah, so I can't quite it. go that close because obviously social distancing, but yes. I've just pointed it. Uh, if you would like to go for this one, I mean, again, I'm thinking these as a background to go with the, um, the main item. Absolutely. So if you don't want to use the stencils or if you want to really mix media it up and layer things, you've got a five by seven panel die and it's called the Paving Punch. And it does, for a change, really just put those little pinpricks into there that's our metallic card so you can see even just it's a subtle design it really does give you impact but think about as well those cards where you might think white space is too much it's difficult to see on the white on the camera but you know it can stop you feeling like there's too much white space okay yes yeah. so who's J dame josephine come on in on that one if you have a look <laughs> in the background on that one you will see if you have a look at the white bit in the background there's actually the little pinpricks on there that actual um, so it's that subtle texture to stop you feeling like the white space is too empty we might need to whip the extender out for this one i feel um, <laughs> but just... as well the a5 um stamp set that comes with it the geo background that lovely big stamp comes in two parts kerry's used it there to make like a zentangle uh, and that's really cool but then just on its own embossed love this as well drop another isn't one that really there. nice and i think those backgrounds on their own are going to work really well for your guy cards or anybody else who sometimes isn't into your classic florals or butterflies or anything mm. and you're going to be able to just pop a name a sentiment on there uh, without having to go down the route of beer golf football for the guys well, they're kind of like, I, mean, I like it they're a bit scientific a bit sort of constellation yeah, a bit, a, if that's what's the word, the word? Uh, celestial Is celestial that... they're very celestial they I also see. remind me as well of um I don't know what I'm thinking of. There's like there's other film. I would keep it saying like, do you remember Daft Punk, the group? They remind me of that oh, as yeah. well. That kind of like real sort of like futurist, futuristic. That's the word I was looking futuristic. for. Futuristic. Uh, that futuristic feel about them. But as how well. well does it go with something traditional like a butterfly? Yeah, it shouldn't, but it does. Mm. I love it. Uh, if you'd like to go for yours, five eight six five four five four eight is your item number on that one. Ten percent of the stock has gone. Twenty seven pounds and eighteen pence is your price on that one. Next one, you're right, you're going to love these. These are the ones that you've been waiting for. It's your alphas and your numbers, which basically means we have personalization. You can write out whatever you want. Double discount we've got on this one as well. Claire's whipped out the double Ds on this, which we love. <laughs> and got... it's a double alphabet yes. and a double letter. So can you see there it gives you the top line on both boards is showing how it pops out the main die and it gives you that lovely uh, so kind of aperture detail. And comes then... out of there, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So you so can use them separately. Machine, and it pops that out. You get that bit and then this bit yeah. pops out So as really, well. you're getting, if you're doing a name, you're getting two at the time or anything. But also, as I was playing with them, I discovered it's actually more like a three, four, five in one. Yeah. Because if you paper piece that fine bit in a different colour back in, like I've done with that love, you get a, four, a third option. Or if you use the negative space, like I've done in that fourth option there, and there are more combos, I am absolutely sure. So to me, this is the only alphabet and numbers that you're ever going to need. And it's nice that you get your ordinals as well, your uns, your uns, your uns, and all those. Yes, it, and even, wonderful. can you see those two little dots? That's in case you want to do a time. You know, people do on yes. scrapbooks and gifts for time of birth of their baby, time that they got married, that kind of thing. 
uh, but they're really good size as well. The alphabets are about an inch and a third, which is a lot bigger than uh, a lot of alphabet dies out there. And the numbers are even bigger. They're about 1.8 inches. I like this card. I think that's fine. Well, I like both of those cards, but I think that's fine. But think about personalising. You can do any name, any sentiment. If you're thinking in your stash, I really want to do things with a particular Christmas sentiment, a particular birthday one, and you can't find it out there, get an alphabet and you can do whatever you like. It's making the most of the words, which I love. It's making mm -hmm. a focal point of things, isn't it? Um, if you'd like to give those, busy for those. Two club flexi payments of 13 59 on that as well, or 27 18 if you want to pay for it outright. 586-550, your item number. Uh, now, up next, it's FFF time. Fa 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 fastest fingers first because literally this is about to disappear and um, if you are after this one please or after these please be quick some of the biggest inks i've ever seen these are your <laughs> thirsty brush and co double up confetti inks um okay let's talk off yep. why are they doubling up what's that about so it's double the pigment watercolors yeah so you've got a full rainbow of 10 huge inks in there which is that's why they're bigger because the pigment kind of molecules if you like take up more space you're going to use a little bit more than normal so they are kind of like palm sized aren't they you can't really get it just as they're looking on the side other than so if we have a look i know um, that one? lovely claire's got a pot in her hand so you can like, dive on into this see, one that's a pot can how big so you can use them with a little water and get more of an opaque look or you can water them right down and get your standard traditional watercolour look. You can mix them, so that's why I call them kind of stretchable colours. The white works on black, as do a lot of the other light colours, which you cannot get on normal watercolour. And yeah. last time I bought them last week, I think they sold out in about 20 minutes. Yeah, 22 minutes. Yeah, 22. Um, today we'll see what happens, but already a lot of the stock, 20% has gone. You've got all 10 colours here. 53.99 is your price. I mean, that works out at what? 5.39 per pot. When you think how long these are going to last, yeah. that's incredible. I know we Two can't say forever. £27 pounds as well. If you pop them in with your main item, it's just an extra 13.50. Mm. Well worth doing. Look, they're great, mate. I so like you can make an your... Australian accent. I don't know. That's great, mate. <laughs> mate. Loving that. So made with the letters and the numbers, mixed in with the heart, geometric heart there. So make your backgrounds, colour in your stamped images, um, and maybe have the courage. I do lots of freehand watercolour tutorials on my YouTube. Maybe have the courage to do a little bit of that as well. Well, lots of our lovely crafters on YouTube are saying they've seen you do tutorials with these, and they love what you do with them. Oh, amazing! There Thank you go. They will go a long, long way as well. They're big. Big, they're juicy and they last a long time. What's not to like? But it is fa 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 fastest fingers first. <laughs> so please be quick on that one. If you are on the app ordering those, as I always say, tappers, slappers, get slapping and get that ordered straight away because that's going to disappear. Six five eight four eight four is your item number there. Um, these are back in stock as well. Nine little pots of prettiness. These are. These are the thirsty brush and coat. All the tones glitter embossing powders. Look at these colours. Fabulous they are colours, just aren't they? So this is a follow-on oh. from our kind of infamous gold, silver, the smooth um, embossing powders we did. Are you knocking things over again? I am knocking things <laughs> over again. I think it must be the pressure of being on YouTube. I never normally knock things <laughs> I know, over. I you're not normally nervous. One mention of YouTube and I'm like, Martin Parker, what's going on? Uh, but these are glorious. I mean, so these here, I mean, we're talking about obviously embossing these, so you're intensifying the glitteriness. Absolutely. So the glitter is really super fine, but it becomes kind of encapsulated then in the smooth powder oh, that's no. in there too. They have anti-static building. Um, we still use the little anti-static pad with it as well, but they are just so, so glittery. So we're it's talking untrue. about the bottom half of the heart there, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but fabulous colours, toned together. I really think about the colours when we do other mediums, the paints, you know, making sure that they all go together. And, you know, even just on the simplest of stamps, they are absolutely beautiful. Now, there is a back catalogue of these on the website. So if you want to sort of, you know, maximise your potential when it comes to, you know, three items or more, there's normally a capped incentive PMP there for you. Um, obviously in America. Are we in America with this show as well? We are, aren't we? Are we in America with this show, lovely Laura producer? We are, yeah. Hi, America. Mm. So obviously Early. you have your own shipping and handling <laughs> incentives um, all week long as well. So do head out to the website. I think it's time for our lovely thespian on the camera, the lovely Joe, to tell us more about that. All the W's dot. I literally love the way she speaks. Uh, so, yes, so do pop those into your basket. Uh, we're 20 minutes in. We need to satisfy our thirst. I am a thirsty host. I need some fabulous inspiration. So let's have some demos 
From you, lovely Claire. Yes, please. I'm going to start with the dog and I'm going to bore everybody while I pass by talking about my dog. There's nothing wrong with that. He's the absolute love of my life. What's he called? Horse. Horse? Yeah. Love that. And actually, if you look just next to me here, Kerry made me this beautiful scrapbook page that I'm going to frame when I get home. Isn't he absolutely beautiful? And look how she's used. If I just shift that over. Can we have a close up on horse? I need to see him. He's they, very oh, handsome. Oh, he's gorgeous. So he's a rescue dog. And dog yeah, look how horse. she's used the stencils with the paws. I think she's even fine liner around them. So it looks like they're stamps, not just stencils, which is a great way to use your stencils. I think that's brilliant. And uh, yeah, all those lovely letters. She's paper pieced them back in. Absolutely fabulous. So let's have a look at the stamp and die together. So I was telling you about how you can use. Stamp on its own, die on its own and together. So let me show you how to use them together and how to get them perfectly lined up really, really easily. So if you're a stamper normally and you do stamping and then die cutting, with ones like this where you would struggle, if you had stamped that before, can you see how you might struggle to get that perfectly lined up? And then you might feel frustrated by it. No need. Now, just Ooh. to say the Eureka that Claire is using at the moment is in stock at the moment. Hoorah! And it's actually <laughs> still part of our four-day deal, and we have the details of that on our website and a special offer at the moment. It is just brilliant. If you worry about placement and accuracy and precision, then, of course, the Eureka from Stamps by Me is definitely the way to get perfect results time and time again. So I'm going to do the die-cutting bit first. I've just held it in place with a little bit of tape, and I'm going to run that through my machine. Try not to knock poor horse over as we do it. <laughs> I love so, that yeah. it's a dog called horse. That's wonderful. I do have two cats as well because my husband always says you don't give the cats as much credit. What's your, but, have your cats got names like rabbit and guinea pig? Uh, or something? Jean and Molly. Jean so and Molly. Jean is a total lady. She's very serene, and Molly likes to watch you bathe. She likes to what? Watch, her watch bathe. you bathe or go to the toilet or anything really? like that. Yeah, she's so very weird. The house that I stay in up here, <laughs> the cat at the house is called Malibu. Which Malibu. I particularly love. Like and Malibu Barbie? <laughs> yeah, honestly, he's just adorable, Malibu. And he, like, literally gets into bed with me in the morning. He's like, as soon as I... Like, because I'm normally up before anybody else in the house. So, obviously, early shift. And, like, as soon as he hears <laughs> you, he's got this little tinkly bell on and he comes running in. And then he'll sit on the bed. And then if you don't get out of bed straight away, he starts licking in your ear. Of course. Which is adorable, honestly. Because no. he's hungry. Can't remember the last time I woke up like that. <laughs> get off. Oh, Malibu. Uh, so the trick car. here is once you've die cut out the geometric parts, keep the waist because that's going to come in very useful. Can you see where it's just popped out? You don't need to worry about all these little bits, but just keep the waist. Turn it over and then get some low tack tape and pop it kind of diagonal I do, but it doesn't really matter if it's down or across. It's just got to hold this piece back in place. So as you pop it back in, that piece now is not going to move no matter how many times you stamp. Because if you did this bit on its own, you've got no room to put your magnet or anything like that. Does that make sense? It does. So now if I pop the stamp on top, I can spend my time positioning it, make sure and it's absolutely perfect. I can see exactly where it's going to go. See, I think things like this, I mean, stencils and images and dies and stamps like we have on today's show, especially the Geo ones, um, if you know somebody in your family that's maybe that kind of like awkward person that you don't really know what oh, to, yeah, absolutely. to make a card for, you know, or how to make a card for them, this I would be, definitely be the one to go for. I think it's going to be one of those ones, even if it's not your bag in particular, there is going to be somebody in your family that you kind of think, oh, you know, young cousin so-and-so or, you know, auntie whatever, loves this kind of imagery. And I do, and I think it's really easy, especially if you are, you know, if you're sand tangling, zen tangling, something like this, you've got all mm. of those wonderful areas of creativity You can still do your colouring and your zen tangling, like you say. It's not taking that away from you. Nope. It's just giving you the option that if you want to use the dye as well, you could even layer something behind, use it like a stencil, um, yes, yeah, stencil or a stained glass. So there's our lovely doggy. So that's using, can you see how then that's perfectly lined up just by using that waste piece? But I think you're right, Nigel, I think if you had the main stamps and dies, your stencils and your backgrounds, I think you could make a card for anybody. Yes, I agree. 
I do agree. Right then. Um, we do have the individuals as well, and one individual is proving to be very popular. Cats and dogs are very popular, always. 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 But Unicorn and Heart is proving to be very popular as a duo as well. So if you'd like to go for those, pop them in your basket. Also, the other one that we have for you, of course, is the butterfly and the owl. So there's the unicorn and the heart, the nunicorn uh, and the heart together with it's your birthday, it's your day. Um, in that lovely sort of like typewriter typeface. Mm. It's it a bit ticker tape, isn't it? Do you remember those um, ticker tape? Dymo tape yeah, machines. Like ticker tape ones. Yeah, is that, that what yeah. And you'd are like... They, are they called ticker tape? Yeah. Something like that. So. <laughs> but I know exactly what you mean, Claire. Um, and don't forget, we've got the other ones as well. So you can have the cat and the dog, or you can have the owl and the butterfly. I keep wanting to say pussycat. The owl and the butterfly together. <laughs> I know, that's, it kind of rolls Feels off like the tongue, ghost, doesn't it? it? So what I've done ahead of time is I've stamped and die cut another doggy, and I've put him in using one of those beautiful uh, glittery embossing powders. So he's super shiny on black with the kind of minty one. So it goes very much thirsty brush. And again, all I've done here is use the stamp on its own with some different kind of inks in a kind of ombre. So I'm just going to pop that together with a simple sentiment from the set as well, which is the best friend, which works perfectly for those cat and dog. It's, it's a little bit things, computerized. Doesn't it? Do you remember Tron, the movie? I think you might be too young. Uh, vaguely. Although I think there was a, like a, remix, a re reworking of Tron, wasn't there? Which I think Daft Punk did the actual um, soundtrack to, oh. actually. So, yeah, so we get very kind Daft of Punk that today. futuristic feel. But it does look very sort of computerised, very digital. Yeah, but don't be scared that you might feel it's too modern as well. If you have a look at the, this little card with the owl here, you can see how easily it can be mixed up with your flowers and your other dyes that we've done. Those are from uh, recent releases of ours. So you don't have to go super modern you can make it a little bit more florally that's a watercolor background with the paints and a couple of blossoms and a die cut really easy i like the owl i've got to the owl i think it's one of those ones as well that when you look at it there is um not a charm about it but there's a i don't know a little bit of a bit of an attitude going on bit there. of cheekiness it's cheekiness too. that's a good word yes <laughs> bit of sass going on a bit like you is that what you mean oh i don't know about that just thinking about where I'm going to place going these. Can you have sass at 52? I'm not sure. Absolutely, you can. There you go. I'm planning on having plenty of sass at 52. <laughs> <laughs> so I've popped him in the middle and you've got the two either side. And you'll see in a minute, this is based on one of my design team's cards. I don't want to cover too much of his face. I probably should have done it a little bit bigger. But So that's the doggy with stamp, die and stamp on its own. And where did I put the one? I'm not gonna be able to find it now, am I? I'll find it for you in a little while. Oh, here it is. Bless you. Um, I think that's lovely, I've got to say, I'm liking that a lot. Uh, Thirsty Brush and Co, which are Geo Art Animal Stamps and your coordinating dies. Same technique. You've got the heart, you have the fabulous butterfly, the owl, the cat, the dog, and the unicorn. The unicorn is in there as well. I can't say it any other way now. Thanks, kind <laughs> uh, So if you would like to go for this one, 71, there will be a time in years to come when she's like, it's not called an unicorn, it's a unicorn granddad. I mean, I know you said it for years. Uh, 71 pounds and 99 pence. And when she's at that awkward age, these are the cards that I'll be making her. Uh, 71.99 is your price if you'd like to go for this. Four club flexi payments of 18 pounds. Everybody can use FlexiPay, apart from PayPal, as I'm afraid. But everybody else, Visa card, credit card, debit card, pop these in your basket. Some lovely sentiments with these as well. Party time, that's what we're all craving for right now. Uh, awesome and all of that as well. Uh, now our stencils. These are fabulous. I am literally loving that paw print, that bear print. It's very Prowler-esque. It's very kind of, I don't know, just... Huh? Thinking dog and cat, but it could be like a bear as well. I think it's, it? it's like a bear. Yes, it is a bear. I, I honestly, I love that. I would have that as a tattoo, literally. Uh, five, well, it's four. Uh, where would I put them? That's the question. Maybe okay. YouTube can decide where should I have that as a tattoo. Uh, five, eight, six, five, four, seven. Quarter of the stock has gone on those. Uh, you're paving in your geo backgrounds for you on this one as well. Uh, celebrate, cheers, congratulations, and hooray with the backgrounds and of course that lovely pinprick design of the background. Double discount on that one. Twenty-seven eighteen is your price uh, and flexi pay as well now the most popular item on the show i suspect alongside the inks 
will be this. Uh, the alphabets, 30% of the stock has gone. Not only do you get all of the numbers and the letters and the ordinals, but also on top of that, uh, you are getting, well, two strikes or two bites of the cherry with every pass of your ProCut or your Gemini or whatever machine you are using. Because literally, if you put, well, say if you're putting that zero through, you get the large blue zero, but also you get the smaller white zero popping out. So you are getting two for the price of one with each and every pass of your die cutting machine. 586550 is your item number there. £27.18 pennies is your price. Uh, now our fabulous glittery embossing powders. These are be oh look at that. Isn't that glorious? Don't you just want to dive into each and every one of those? If only I was small <laughs> enough to do so. Uh, 570857 is your item number on those. Uh, now, we have got a demo around the corner. We're going to be showing you our fabulous double up confetti inks as well. But let's give you a moment to check out our baskets as we remind you that we are in the middle of our club members event, the biggest members event ever. I just like saying that. It makes me laugh. The biggest members event. Hurrah. Uh, people are very happy about it. This is why. My favourite part about the Create and Craft Craft Club is the sense of family and how much we can all inspire each other. It's the discount. Discounts. Discount. The discount. It's that simple. The strangest place I've seen a craft club badge is in Seville in Spain. I was on holiday, sat in a restaurant and I saw a lady on another table. I just caught the glint of her badge. I was actually on a cruise ship teaching jewellery making and someone came up to me and there was the badge. Great. Funnily enough, in Ikea, it was on a guide dog's harness. I think the most important part of the craft club is that every member gets a discount off every product. It's so useful, especially when you're buying higher priced items. I buy a lot of my basic supplies and that saving really, really does add up. There's certain things that you can get that you can't get anywhere else. There's always something to look forward to. The whole package is really great and I would absolutely advise anybody to become a great craft club member. Thank you to Mel and Carly and Sharon and Mark and everybody else there. Bless your heart. If you would like to join the Create and Craft Club, then of course it's 148319 is the item number. If you do it on the phone lines, we will add, that's my makeshift phone, uh, we will activate your account almost instantaneously. Uh, right, let's have another demonstration with our double up inks. These are mm. huge, both in size and possibility. And possibilities. Isn't that just a joyous rainbow of colour there? A third so, of the stock is gone. Oh, OK, I I'm going to hurry up then, and I? <laughs> So I'm going to do an actual rainbow and show you all the colours and then when I mentioned about how the white works on black which is something you can't normally get I'm going to show you how to do that too. So all you need to do is I tend to have two pots of water because of the extra pigment in there you don't want to when you're washing your brush you can get quite quite a lot of colour on your brush so maybe dipping your brush in to clean it isn't enough to then go into the uh, next pot without contaminating. So I use one pot to wash my brush and then the next pot to bring clean water onto my brush ready for the next colour. Does that make sense? It does. So this is the beautiful apricot. Really smooth. Don't worry about any cracks in your pot. It's just where the manufacturers have poured it in and it's set because of the extra pigment. And you'll see what I mean now about putting your brush in, so I don't want to take any of that colour into the next. So then I change to the clean. It only takes a second and you totally get used to that kind of transition. So you use it with little water if you want. It's super, super vibrant like this and I'll show you in a moment how to use it with less water. So they blend beautifully like watercolours normally do. So that was coral, then we've got rose. And how beautiful and joyously vibrant is that colour. But you can still water it down and make it more subtle as well. And you can layer it up and make it really, really opaque. Then we go into the purples. So we've got Heather, which is your kind of lilac-y purple. And they're, they're gorgeous super, colours, they really they? are. And like I say, I've really chosen them so they complement those embossing powders that lots of you have already got, or if you missed out before, are obviously back in stock today. 
Now, you've got two that look really dark, just to mention. The Deep Forest is the pure black one. The other one, if you look closely, it's kind of like a navy purple. Yeah, it's like a deep sort of purpley yeah. blue, isn't it? So in the pot, it can look very similar, but obviously you can see now, once I've put my brush to it, and then we're going into the kind of teal green. They're so rich and vibrant They're in their absolutely coloration, beautiful. aren't they? So perfect, like I say, for your stamps and your backgrounds, but yeah, let's put colour in as well. We're in lockdown again. Watch some of my YouTube tutorials. Have a go. Why not? But indeed, we are on YouTube right now. Our friends at Stamps by Me uh, are letting us have their, their Hi, fabulous everybody. Um, YouTube channel for this show for the next hour and a half. Uh, they're talking about crafting a nude at the moment, <laughs> and they're apparently. Standard. I when I do. <laughs> When I do um, YouTube tutorials on Tony's, when I travel to her studio quite a lot and they go out on her YouTube channel as well, we do have some very funny conversations. Well, it's brilliant. Well, apparently Karen on the, web, on the uh, YouTube is uh, wondering where the glitter would end up if she was crafting naked. Oh, dear. <laughs> It's like a bit like being on, on the beach. donkey, isn't it? Really, where would it not? Where would it not end up? Quite frankly, yeah, a bit, a bit like being on the beach. I imagine, yes. like instead of sandy pants, you would have glitter pants. Exactly, and it always gets in your sandwiches <laughs> as well, doesn't it? Um, just to say as well, if you want to watch our craft, uh, Crate and Craft YouTube channel, that is literally twenty four seven. It's back to back shows, so you can kind of catch up with shows as well. So there's always something on there to watch. If you're watching us on air and you think, oh, well, actually, I've seen that before, you can go to the um, go to the actual YouTube channel, and there's lots of uh, shows that you can scroll through. Which is brilliant. I'll have a look at that because I've not looked on there for a while. Mm. Back to you, Claire. So just before I go on to the white on the black, um, I've just put the black deep forest paint on there. But you can see then how much coverage you get when you don't use much water. And then when you start to water it down, and this works with any of the colours, you start to then go to that more traditional kind of watercolour effect. So you've really got much more scope there for the type of colouring you can use. But and obviously watch there, what Claire, we've split them into sort of separate colours, as it were. Yeah. Can you mix and match your colour between pots and Absolutely stuff? Absolutely you can. So I use the lid a lot for mixing. So they work well to mix with each other. So you get lots of kind of more muted tones when you look at things like the coral and the spearmint together will give you a nice kind of beigey brown um, but loads of different combinations on there but look at how that white that is watercolor that's lovely white on black card that's going to give such good coverage and the fact that you've got so much there as well i mean they are you are not going to run pots. out they really are you're not going to be worried about the grandchildren using them or you know you're not going to feel precious because you've only got a tiny little bit in a palette They're so like, just to like show big pan stick makeup you know like when you get clowns and yeah stuff. yeah and like when we have Max halloween Max. here we always like put loads of makeup on and it's like the big pots that you buy that's what they remind me of so i've just put my brush in a little standard normal watercolor palette there in the white just to show you that how the difference this is normal watercolor that's just so you're really not going to see yeah. that are you so what happens is when you start doing a bit of artwork that is a lovely card that that's I've gorgeous. made just from some splashes and some petals. In fact, that's one of the tutorials we've got. If you want to have a go at something like that, you can watch it step by step. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So with these inks, I mean, obviously, because I know, I mean, it's 53 99 you're getting 10 inks. But this is a real investment, because these are going to last a long, long time, Claire, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. And if you, uh, lots of people enjoyed our metallic Confessi inks, which were the first ones that we launched. We had eight colours of those, and they sold out four times. So if you've had those before, or you were thinking about it, you will not be disappointed in these. They're going to take your craft into that next level and really get you more confident with watercolour in general now we do have two flexi payments on this one as well 27 pounds so whether you're here in the uk or over in america hello america if you're just joining us good morning it's afternoon here so i'm assuming it's morning for you guys uh, then you've got great coloration with these inks I mean, they're going to last you a long long time uh, but also i just think it's a real investment because you're going to be using them at the end of 2021 probably into 2022 as well because they are massive pots some of the biggest that i've seen in my 15 years here on this channel uh, six five eight four eight four is your item number two flexi payments of 27 pounds uh, let's remind you though of our main item we've got four brand new items uh we luckily we've got two shows so we will be back after the break with another demo from the lovely claire um, if you would like to go for these these are your geo art animals we've got stamps 
and dies. Oh, and I keep doing that, don't I? Stamps and dies that all go together. There you go. It's because I think that's stuck to that side and it's not, is it? I think I can just turn it around, but I can't. Uh, so you can see they are perfectly sized to go together. So you've got the pussycat and the puppy dog on one of them. You've got the butterfly and the owl on another. And then you've also got the unicorn, the unicorn and the heart on the other one. Uh, they're all geometric in style, very futuristic, very scientific, very kind of like gender neutral. Um, and also sorting out not sorting out, that's not the way to say it, is it really? But it's also a good option for maybe younger, more awkward members of the family that maybe you feel a little bit out of touch with and you don't quite know what they like and what they don't like, you know, before they get to that stage where it's just like, what would you like for Christmas? Money. It's not want money. It's like oh, we all do that. My oh, honestly. How old are your oh, kids? 15, 17, and I've got a stepson who's 20. OK, well, I imagine, especially for the 15 and the 17... I know, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit flabbergasted there. I thought you were going to say about four and six or something, <laughs> but... Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> if we're talking about sort of 15-year-olds, a card like this with geometric, I mean, something like this, that's going to work really well. Absolutely. Whereas if you gave something that was hearts and flowers and maybe pretty and butterflies that didn't look like that... It would be not the yeah, same story. Yeah, just not quite as cool. Yeah. So uh, my daughter should have done a GCSEs uh, last, well, summer just gone, and obviously couldn't get to do them. But yeah, I would have loved to have sent her that clever clogs. Um, you know, and she, I showed her the heart one with the 17 on and said, if I'd have sent you this for your 17th, and she was like, actually, that's really good. Yeah, it is. And I was cool. like, she, you never say that about my stuff. No, it's like suddenly <laughs> mummy's cool. I yeah. think it's so good. I mean, look at they that. They just think I'm yet. the lamest person in the world. <laughs> the lamest person in the world. There's a title for an event, isn't it? The lamest person in the world. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this as well with a pussycat and just best friend on there. I mean, it just... It works. I think it's going to be one of those Marmite ones. I'm going to be honest with you. I think something that either you'll be like, oh, yeah, I can see that working for me, or you just think, no, it's not my style. No, but again, we all have to make cards that sometimes we other people want. If you get requests for certain animals, um, personalisation, like with those numbers and those letters, um, that heart is just a classic for me. I don't even think it looks... Oh. uber modern once you mix it with some flowers and some watercolor yes some of them you can make it modern but i really think you can make them as traditional as you that's want gorgeous. as well by tying them in with your flowers and anything else i mean you can literally that's fab isn't it yeah i love that you could just be as varied as you like that's fabulous um i've just literally taken virtually every sample of my top shelf <laughs> i'm gonna have to put the set back together i'm gonna need at least three minutes for that so what i would suggest is you head to the website or the w's dot that's the one, CreateCraft.com. Pop along there and pop the items into your basket. Get yourself checked out and then come and join Claire and myself, whether you're watching on YouTube or here on Create and Craft, um, for another 42 minutes of glorious crafting action. If you'd like to go for your exclusive and brand new collection, 586-546 is your item number. And with four flexi payments, it's achievable to spread the cost right the way throughout Christmas and beyond. See you in three.
Welcome back to Create and Craft. My name is Nigel May and welcome to the second part of our fabulous mixed media show. Apparently the people on YouTube have been saying, oh, can you show us behind the scenes? Sam, get over here. This is for you, YouTube. Just a little treat. Come on, Sam, come and show yourself. I'll move out of the way so you can come on in. Because this is Sam, obviously, who's flooring for this part of the show. We had Beth for the last, but I should have got Beth on. But no, that, that, say hello to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. There you go. Hi, thank everyone. you. Off you pop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's killing me not to be able to hug people. Um, it's not just me and Samuel and the lovely Katie on cameras. We've also got from Thirsty Brush, the fabulous Claire Manning. Hello, gorgeous lady. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm very good. <laughs> Always happy to be with you. And I'm loving what we've got today. We've got four brand new items. Yes. A couple of returning favourites as well, which is brilliant. Absolutely We're in the middle of a club members event which is fab so we've got extra sort of flexies on some double discount on our four brand new items we've got bonus flexi on our main item and um, also there are certain postage incentives um, on the uh, website as well so do go and check it all out apparently Sam's getting a lot of love on YouTube I bet he is Sam gets a lot of love wherever he goes believe you me <laughs> heaven knows I've tried uh, right Let's remind you what we're getting. We've got a fabulous brand new collection, exclusive to us here at Crate & Craft, of geo stamps and dies. Um, you get dies and stamps that coordinate together perfectly size-wise in a geometric, scientific, futuristic, I think really, well, for me, I love the style. I think it's one of those ones I said before, it's a bit Marmite, you'll either love it or it's not for you. But think about the people in your family that you never know what to make card-wise for them. You think, oh, do you know, what does Cousin Tommy really like? What about little Lucinda? What does she fancy? I don't know, I've, no, I've got nobody in my family called Lucinda. I don't know where that name came from. Uh, 586, 546 is your item number. You have the hearts, the unicorns, the dogs, the cats, the owls and the butterflies as well, plus some extra sentiments too. Special price on this one, double discount, takes it down from £102 nearly to seventy-one ninety-nine, and four bonus flexes as well. I think we're going to dive straight into a demonstration okay, here, if that's no all right, problem. because we need to soak up that um, inspiration. So let me show you what else, else is on the show, and then we'll head over to Claire. Uh, we've got our painted stencils if you'd like to go for these i love these i literally love these the paw print one in particular on it i know so many people that i want to put that on a card Absolutely. for and i think you know although i've had them design them in mind to go behind these geometric designs they're going to work behind a million different stamps and dies that you've got and you're going to be able to create all sorts of backgrounds mixed media things on your canvases i mean i do mixed media as in like watercolors embossing uh, and use all different kind of mediums. But if you're a mixed media that does canvases, boards, 3D things, they're going to work perfectly for that too. I think they're glorious. They really are. 586547 is your item number on that one. That's £15.19 pence your price there. Uh, next up for you, we've got our paving and our geo. Now, the geo is the geo background, and then also you've got the words there, the little ticker tape words of celebrate, cheers, hooray, and congratulations. You've also got that background, which has little pinprick designs actually pricked into it when you pop it through your um, so cool. die-cutting machine and embossing machine. It is very cool. It looks mm. fabulous on mirrored cardstock. Mm. It does. It looks like proper metal. Proper metal, like. <laughs> uh, 586548 is your item number on that. Two flexi payments of 1359. Uh, one of the most popular items on the show, I'm not surprised because it gives you personalization straight away. Uh, numbers and alphabet. So you could put whatever you like. You could put nicknames. Do you have a nickname, Claire? Um, I used to with my maiden name, but not. But my daughter's nickname is better. What's that? So her real name is Kate. We yeah. call her Brian. <laughs> Brian. Because she, when she was little, she was like really sweet and girly and always like dressed in pink and stuff. And my husband said, she needs a nickname. What's the most like anti-girly guy's name? So Brian, <laughs> Brian. was, I love so, that. And it totally stuck. And when we go on holiday, it's like, do you want an ice cream, Brian? And people look. That's so like, funny. I what on earth that. are you doing? <laughs> That's great. There's a whole oh, yeah. lot of therapy right there. <laughs> uh, so you can see you've got uh, whatever you wanted to write, net letters or numbers. You've got your ordinals there as well. You've even got your little dots, your sort of semicolon. Uh, so you could pop that on there for numbers and things like that for times and dates. Uh, 586550. Also our Double Up Confetti Inks, most popular item on the show. You are loving these. They are big, they are juicy and they last for forever and a day. 59.99 is the price. They are back in stock. They sold out last time and two flex payments of £30. Let's get playing, though. Let's get over to Claire with the demonstration. Over to you for some mixed media magic. Sorry, I was just thinking of you just calling those paints big and juicy. They are big and juicy. <laughs> so if you Add the caught... water, they juice up nicely. Absolutely. And I did bring absolutely more because they sold out so quick. 
on the last show and so many of you messaged me to say that you couldn't get hold of them quick enough that's why I bought even more uh, stock than before so if you caught us on our first half of the show we did a lovely rainbow with the confetti ink double ups so this has got all of the kind of main colours other than the black and white in there and I'm going to die cut the amazing unicorn so this is going to be a die cut only one but if you did want to use the stamp as well, they are huge, actually. I know we talked about them earlier. That is an A5 set. So really, each kind of element, whether it's an animal, a unicorn, a heart, is probably just under A6, which is about four inches. <coughs> and even the Excuse sentiments me. are really quite big. So they're not little stamps and dies for your mini. They're really good value. So I'm just going to tape that die into place. And I've positioned it so I can get as many of those different colours in as possible and it gives such the most cool effect so when you're playing around testing out your colors don't chuck that bit of paper no use it for Never something chuck else anything with a rainbow on it <laughs> absolutely not that's gorgeous already and it's nearly just picked isn't up, it, it? Let's pop it through the machine and we're going to layer that onto a stenciled background and i'm going to show you how to use the heart and the heart on the stencil, again, is absolutely ginormous. Have a look at the size of that. So that's the heart die. Yeah, that's I'm going to use the heart the stencil. The heart stencil we've got down at the bottom um, in front of me, but also you can see it there with Claire as well. So you get the stencil. Let's give you the details of the stencils. You've got the heart, the feather, the butterfly. You have those fabulous paw prints that could be bear, could be dog, could be wolf, could be anything with a wolf. paw, really. I like uh, that. You've also got those fabulous hearts as well. And um, I think they're a wonderful selection. So I'm just popping out those last bits. What I do find is make sure your card is really dry after you've painted before you die cut it. Mine's probably still a bit damp and these will pop out much, much easier. But obviously when card gets wet, it um, stretches the fibres a little bit, doesn't it? But how cool is that just on its own is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to now put the heart stencil and we're going to ink through it. So it's mixed media, so we've used our watercolour paints and I'm now going to use an ink pad. Let's grab... Should we have maybe... I'm thinking what colour. Let's use this kind of corally colour here. It's spoiled for choice, right? I know, really? absolutely. <laughs> I can't choose. Can we do I'm a trying giveaway to pick for out... Facebook, is that right? Sorry? Can we do a little giveaway for Facebook? Absolutely, Facebook yeah. Bless Let's you. see which card turns out the best. Oh. <laughs> they, they all turn out marvellous. They will be for choice. <laughs> so I'm using a little bit of tape just to hold that stencil. And this is an A5 piece of card. You can see how big this stencil is. And, of course, you get the little one as well. So there was extra space in that stencil. I thought, why not give you an extra one? So I'm just using a little dauber. And to make it look like watercolour, even though it's not, by all means, you can put your watercolour double-ups through this. But if you haven't got them or you're not confident straight away in using them, but you still want that watercolour look, what I would suggest is go round the edge with quite an intense amount of ink, making sure you get all those little holes as well. That's going to give you that splash detail. Mm. You could emboss through these. As I say, you could use your watercolours, pastes. It will be absolutely beautiful. Whatever you've got or layer up. And then what I'm going to do is now I've got some kind of strong colour there. I'm going to use just what's on my dauber and we're going to kind of fade it in. And that's going to look as if that it's watercolour and it's pooling. So I always love it with stencils when you do the reveal. It's that, that wow moment never ever ceases to be amazing. Yeah, I mean, even with this, you don't really... I'm doing this in a rush, you can take a little bit longer. But you don't have to get the blend absolutely amazing either one because you're layering something else on top and two because using this kind of ink kind of makes it oh, look, look at that doesn't it look like That's a watercolor so splash um, just to say i think we've got a lot of romantics out there maybe on youtube maybe in america oh, really? in the uk uh, because 90 percent of the stock has gone of the heart on its own oh wow okay. yes uh, very very busy for that one uh, so if you do want the heart on its own 6.29 is your price on that one for your painted heart because it gives you results like this yes so, yeah, absolutely. The, and the stamp as well. I do think, you know, if you were to layer over that stamp or the stamp and die, 
I'm always on the lookout for the kind of absolute perfect heart. So I, I genuinely think that that is it. So I'm going to pop those aside for a moment and we'll, let's have a look at the numbers. So what if that was for a granddaughter, a niece, something like that, and we want to personalise it. So let's have a look at these lovely numbers that we spoke about earlier. So I'm going to do, say it's a girl's seventh. Now these are hugely popular, these dies. Numbers and letters are always popular, but I love the fact that when you pass these through your die cutting machine, you actually get two, two, well, two bites of the cherry in one go, really, because the actual inner part that comes out gives you a smaller letter or a smaller number. The same number, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got two different looks with every pass. Absolutely, and I'll show you exactly how that works. Now, if you're at home and you've got like a ruler or something, what I would do is, if you want to keep them really flat and straight, line them up against a ruler, and then you can use the waist as well. I mean, we're not going to use the waist today, so it's no huge deal. But if you were going to use, say you were doing multiple cards, because you sell them, if you line that up perfectly, in a straight line, you're gonna be able to use the waist as well as the dies that you pop out. So I'm doing that in gold. Woo! Oh, hello. Sorry, horse. It's not just me knocking things over then. I know, it's YouTube like... will be ablaze with that now. Claire did it I'm too. I'm the clumsiest person too. ever. I can drop things, fall over, anywhere. I'm, I'm getting more clumsy as I get older, definitely. <laughs> I did say that I walked into a door the other day. Not actually walked into a door, but like actually walked into the frame. The door was open. <laughs> yeah, I walked into the frame, just like bosh. It's like ridiculous. So let's have a look at these lovely numbers. And the alphabet works in exactly the same way. Has it popped out already? Oh, it's stuck on my board. I thought I'd lost it then. It'll be there. Lovely. <laughs> so we've got the little T and H there for seventh. Oh, have we got a double discount on these as well? We have, haven't we? Yep, £27.18. Uh, double discount on our four brand new items. So this is 20% club discount on this one. 47 dies gets you the numbers and the letters all at once. So this is what I mean about that you get two for one straight away. So you've got the seven with the kind of aperture detail that it puts in, which is really cool and really modern. And like you say, completely genderless, completely ageless. Mm. It really is the only set that you'll ever need. But this lovely fine one as well really works when you want a more subtle look or you could cut that in a different colour and paper piece that back in. So let's put it together on our card. Apparently Bernie on YouTube's walked into the door frame as well, so I'm not alone. <laughs> Haven't we all? Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> If ever I meet you, we can walk into a frame together. There you go. <laughs> so I've done another stencil with the heart and cut it down to an A5 card blank here. I'm just going to pop that. I don't know whether it is age, though, because, I mean, I used to... Do you remember... Um, I used to live in London. You know the tubes in London? They have, yeah, like, yeah. the curved walls, don't they? They have, like, the sort of, like, round sort of curved walls. The number of times I used to walk up those and just fall over in the tube station. Like, literally, I would say I'd probably done that about a handful of times. Just normally had you had a little bit out, of a drink. There may have been a sherry or two, but there you go, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the, uh, the issue there. It's true, just like, oh, hello. <laughs> see that so walk. we've got the heart. Let's pop the unicorn on. And even though it's really detailed, you've still got plenty of room for your glue. So it's not so detailed that you think, oh, my no, God, I'm going to end up in a right and mess. And I just put a few little it? blobs here, there and everywhere. There's room for your blob. That's gorgeous. A heart and a unicorn. Hello. Messing with my dreams. And if you have more time than I've got here, I would, um, you know, particularly if I'm selling it, find out the name of the person, not just their age, and put the name on with the alphabets as well. Just for this purpose, I'm just going to put the, the age on. See, but you could gorgeous. put, you know, Happy 7th Maisie or whatever the name is. And I've done Look it slightly that. off centre so I can put the T and the H. I need to keep that for another three years to give to my granddaughter. Oh. Or maybe I could make one, actually. That would probably be better, wouldn't it? Is she amazing? Say again? Is she amazing, is she? Uh, no, she's uh, an Elia. Ah. Oh. Elia. And then there's Edie. But Laura, our producer, Edie? is amazing. Edie, that's an amazing name. Her middle name is Maisie. Laura Maisie Evangelista Richards. Is that wow, you? that's a name, isn't it? <laughs> Fabulous. Sounds like she's going to be famous. So... You could add a bit of sparkle on there if you wanted. Uh, there's a card on the, uh, from the design team where they put glossy accents in the gaps to make it extra shiny. 
but that was really, really super simple. That's just gorgeous. Nigel, I think you might have one where you've got that heart and then the heart stamp in front of you there. I don't know whether you want to show that one. The heart stamp in front of me, that one. No, it looks like that, but it's got the heart, geo, stamp and die. I might be making it up. I tell you don't what, whilst we found that, find that... No, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> looks good, though. <laughs> whilst we find that, I want to introduce you to somebody rather glorious. I think you're going to like this person a oh, lot. Oh, really? Just look down the camera and say, check this lady out. Check this lady out. I'm Claire Manning from Thirsty Brush, artist, designer and guest demonstrator here on Create and Craft. Thirsty Brush was launched exclusively on Crate and Craft in the summer of 2018. So we started off with some hand-drawn stamp designs and now our range has gone from strength to strength and is heading into media, dyes, papers and other types of products. What really inspires me is the world around us. It's easily taken for granted and I very often visit botanical gardens and look for inspiration in our floral designs. What I love about Create and Craft are all the talented people that you get to meet, whether that's the people that work there and of course the viewers. I'm constantly inspired by everyone around us here and I'm proud that both I and Thirsty Brush get to be part of this special family. She good. She was good, wasn't she? I told you you'd like her. She's fabulous. She Another animal print dress. Yeah, I know, love it. Obviously, you've got the whole wardrobe, it's perfect. <laughs> um, this is the card that Claire was talking about as well before we just saw that clip of her. Uh, you can see it's just fabulous using that heart stencil. Uh, let's remind you of your stencils. You have got three stencils for you. Well, three sets of stencils, I should say. Um, you have the heart, um, which also comes with the bear paw prints, or it could be dog prints or cat prints or whatever you like. Um, also, you've got the feather in there as well. I love those paw prints, honestly. <laughs> uh, I do, they're gorgeous, honestly. Um, then you've got this splat in there, there's a butterfly. The um, it's, not, it's not a splat, it's more of a splot. More of a, a splot's not a word, is it? More of a blot, a yeah, blot. And I don't think that does them justice. Like, even the heart looked great in the stencil, but when you saw it then, when you peel it back, mm. just with a bit of ink, they really do look like you've, you've made your own background. They are fabulous. Should we just have a look at some finished samples? I'm coming around the front direct to Gary, sorry. Uh, let's have a look, so you can see I just wander off, don't I? Um, let's have a look at some of the stencil ones that we've got out here. They're not out, are they, the stencil ones? Let's have, have you got some stencil ones over there as well? Oh, yeah, they are in the background of a lot, but I've put you a few aside yeah, there's there. There's one with the paw print, I've got that here. So you can see, there you go. That's the poor print. Half the stock of the stencils has got... Oh, I'm going to have to be quick if I want to get a set then, aren't I? Uh, we've got your fabulous feathers there as well. That lovely heart in the background on that one. There's the sort of other part of the heart on that card, which is just glorious. That's so simple, but yet so effective, isn't it? It really is. Um, let's have a look. Have I got any more? Don't know whether I have at the moment. There you go. Uh, it's the three stencils from Thirsty Brush. Fifteen nineteen is your price on that. Now, also, you can see how well they mix and match with our duo geo dies <laughs> and stamps as well. We've got our fabulous art, artistic animals for you. Very futuristic, very geometric, very, um, I don't know, quite inspirational, I've got to say, these. You can see that you have the dog and the cat. You have got the butterfly and the owl. We also have for you the unicorn, the unicorn and the heart as well. Um, you can see that they are all about the, sh about the shapes. If you think about this, if you break it down into shapes that you can maybe zentangle into, sandtangle into, uh, that you can colour, you can maybe make it like a, a stained glass window. I love that. I think that's I think just the unicorn glorious. Unicorn as well could be. You could chop the horn off. It could be a horse. Yes. Somebody's uh, a horsey person. I mean, you've got a lot of versatility with this, but also I think you've got a lot of variety when it comes to who you're making these cards Absolutely. for. Absolutely, and then that's all about, you know, other things that you put with your card, what colours you do, what mediums you use, what backgrounds you add with it, and then the ability to personalise with the numbers and the letters. I mean, a card like this with the owl, I mean, again, this is a shaker card, which I just think is fabulous, but it's just, I mean, it's something different. It's very striking and dynamic. You, you would never fail to, you know, to notice that. You would always see that, wouldn't you? amongst other cards because it just shines it's just out. beautiful it really isn't does. it let's look at another one i'm here with the dog you can see in fact i'm gonna pick up loads of samples again and just play and that's um he's been die cut and then embossed the little doggy there 
with one of the powders. Oh, that's using the stencil there. Yeah. I couldn't see that earlier, did I? And then you can see that's using the... And that one's the, just, that's just coloured, yeah. That is fab. Oh, that's using our numbers. They're coming up on the show as well. We've got those for you. And I think when you're colouring in, particularly your cats and dogs and things, imagine colouring everything in in the colours of your pet or the person who's receiving it, their pet. In fact, I have uh, my cats on my feet on tattoos in this style. And I took the lady some photos of my cats and she cap encapsulated the colours perfectly. You could do that on your cards with your pens, pencils and anything else you've got. It's a great way to do it, it really is. I mean, I think, you know, you look at the cat there, I mean, it's such a simple form, isn't it? But yeah. it's very striking. And Kerry knows I like a nap. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Who doesn't like a little nap? A little well, disco nap before you go naps. out. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> if you could go out. Disco uh, nap. If you would like to go for your alphas and your numbers, those have been pro uh, those have been very popular this show as well. Uh, if you'd like to pop those into your basket, they are double discount too. You've got the letters and the numbers, and you get the ordinals with them as well. Uh, so you can literally sort of say whatever you like. It could be time, it could be date, it could be nickname, it could be occasion, it could be place, it could be baby weight, you name it. Uh, you can do it. 586550 is your number on that one uh, 13 pounds and 59 pence is your price on that one uh, we've also got for you as well our back in stock double ups if you'd like to go for these and um, claire for people that don't know what the double ups are these things are hugely popular but they're also huge in size aren't huge they? should we show you how big yes, let's they have are one on your hand because that, that gives an idea of how big for they a are second. so this is just one you've got 10 pots so there are eight a rainbow of eight different colors and then, so see, they're like kind of my palm shape. Think of like a cosmetic, um, yeah. compact, that kind of thing. They look like pan stick, like theatrical yeah. paint. Um, but theatrical the reason makeup, they're called double up is that they've got double the amount of pigment as standard watercolours. That allows you to get a more opaque, almost chalky kind of coverage and then water right down to your standard watercolour if you want that softer look. You get a built-in little mixing palette just with the lid, but because they're clear as well, you can see exactly which colour you want. And I stuck them up. So is, why like are they that. called double up then? So what's the sort of two things in the double? It's the double the pigment so of a normal wa pigment. watercolour. You know the kind of watercolour you would get in a palette? And I use those two in my artwork, but I really wanted to bring you something different and be able to get that kind of opaque look as well as your normal watercolour -y, soft, you know, translucent look. 40% uh, gone on our inks now. If you'd like to go for those, 658484 is your item number on that. Uh, the Eureka ka, 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 ka is back with us today as well. Nice to have this back in stock at the moment. It is, I think, one of the ultimate stamping platforms that we have here on Crate and Craft. Um, you can see that you are getting the little, um, it's like a, a palette for your watercolours. Also, you've got the, uh, the sponge there for your stamping and things like that, for your embossing. It's a brilliantly, it's a brilliant hinge platform system. It's on extended dispatches from the 2nd of December. Why don't treat yourself for Christmas. Three, fle four flexi payments on that, so you can literally spread the cost across November, December, January, and February. It's part of this week's four-day deal. Four oh four seven seven two is your item number on that one. Fifty-three ninety-nine is your price, or of course you can split that cost down. We're going to use that in our next demonstration. So over to Claire. Mm, and the Eureka was one of the first things I ever bought from our Tony. Uh, so, I'm not surprised. Yeah, not long after she, gives good she launched it. And uh, yeah, it's it's fabulous. And it genuine when she says it sits on your desk every day, mine absolutely does. So alongside all my other bits and pieces. So I'm going to stamp onto this piece of vellum. If you'd missed the first show, I was talking about how to line up your stamps and dies where you've got a die that is a little bit more. Let me show you what it looks like. If I've got one. So I know this isn't the, the butterfly I've got here, but you know this kind of die where you can't necessarily see all of your design, it's not just an outline, you've got all this bit in and it can be different, to, uh, difficult to line up on your stamped image if you do the stamping first. So what I said in the first show is if you do your die cutting first, pop it back in the waist, with a bit of low tack tape on the back and then you can take your time, position it exactly as you want it. I did one on the first show with just black just to show exactly how it lines up. I'm going to do, use one of the embossing powders now from the set that's back in stock. And have you seen the price of those embossing powders? I know, ridiculous. Normally they are, I sell them in sets of three and it's normally 8 99 I think for 
Um, we'll, we'll get the price up for you on the uh, embossing powder today. We've got a set of nine, isn't it, from the right? Yeah, yes, so it's nine. nine. So normally they'll be in threes and they'll be nine pound each. So that's about 27 quid, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, ours is 16.99. So it's almost like you're getting three for free. Yeah, ish, and ish, then ish. discount and then you club discount as well it's insane so mm. even if you've already got them and you want to stock up because again it is something Half that sells out. Half the stock has gone on those now Claire. I'm not surprised honestly and everybody loves them so they are perfect for all oh, this vellum's a bit delicate for this tape they are perfect for stamping and embossing any image if you've got big bold sentiments they are amazing and we're going to use the seafoam one now which is a really bright blue can you see how much glitter is in there? Ooh, these are so rich, aren't they? And they, they, they look even more glittery and vibrant when they're embossed. Absolutely. So what happens is that glitter becomes encapsulated in that lovely blue colour, but the glitter is all colour matched, so you haven't got, like, silver glitter in blue. It is a blue glitter in the blue. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So, so you're not going to get that contrast of colour, you're just going to get an it, intensity yes. of the colour. Absolutely. So this is what I would normally offer to help and put it back in the pot. I know, I, I should have bought my care. tweezers for this bit, really. I'd get Sam to do it or me to do it, but we can't, we can't, we can't come near it. Don't worry, Let's just pop that back in the pot before we get the heat gun out and blow it all over the place. <laughs> or knock it over. That's, yeah, I am, like I say, super clumsy. It normally ends up all over my desk. Do you end up with that all over your floor. horse? <laughs> Horses, he um, made a little dog. appearance on my um, Facebook Live the other day. <laughs> he popped up onto the desk. <laughs> you know that son. Claire has a dog called Horse. Yes. And she has a daughter called Brian. Yeah. <laughs> you missed that in the first show, yeah. Your fans on YouTube will bring you up to date with that one, son. They're loving you on YouTube. Um, hello to YouTube, because we are on the YouTube uh, Hi, everybody. channel at the moment as well. Don't forget to check out the Create and Craft YouTube channel as well. I must give that a mention because that's literally back-to-back -back shows all day long. Also, a certain Keith Lemon does his crafty doings on there, which is a lot of fun. I'm loving Keith Lemon being very crafty. What a crafty man he is. Uh, but he's doing things in a slightly different anarchic way, which I, for one, am loving. Uh, so you can check that out on our YouTube channel as well. So there's lots of inspiration out there, including lots from our lovely Claire. Can you see how glittery that is? And that's a really fine stamp and you still get that glitter. So think about even using... Can we flash using... it from the front as well? Mm. Just flash it at our Katie on camera seven because it's just going to pick up that Oh, okay, Katie's good at getting all the glitter. Give it a wobble. Sure. They are beautiful. Lovely. Oh, oh lovely. yes. It's all over my fingers. It's all so. in the angle of the dangle. <laughs> suddenly it just comes to life. It's so lovely. what I want to do with this lovely butterfly is layer him up. He, she, I don't know. What the so butterfly? I've got a five by seven card. And we talked about that lovely panel, didn't we? That paving panel, the Geo. I don't know. I hope, can you see if you can get that, Casey, with the, the pinprick detail? It can be difficult white on the camera. Okay, we might but if I show you, tell you, this will work. Oh, you can see it That's on this one much clearer. The there detail. You so you yeah. can see it on white in the flesh. But think about instead of an embossing folder that's actually punching through your card and just giving a really different texture to it and some interest where if you're a bit scared of white space on your cards so i'm only going to put this butterfly layered up and a sentiment and i know lots of you say to me oh i don't know when to stop then and i want white space but it scares me a little bit putting something this like this behind in white or metallic or whatever background that you're doing just gives loads of interest but in a subtle way and doesn't make you feel like it's too empty now so you mentioned gonna... your embossing powders kirsty on youtube is saying you should never ever use another embossing powder Wow, that's amazing, them. Kirsty. Thank she you so much. She thinks price as well, so thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so if you do need to restock, you know where to go, Kirsty, onto that website, createcraft.com. So I've also cut out the butterfly again in a few different card stocks. So I've got a black, a white. I'm going to kind of curve them up a little bit and give it a bit of shape and layer it. I've got holographic which is, again, the rainbow theme, my all-time favourite card. I think you can put holographic on anything and make it look fabulous. So just giving the wings a little curve, and then the top layer is going to be the vellum 
with that beautiful blue embossing powder. Just give it a second to grab and then we'll manipulate those wings a little bit. That just looks so striking. Do you know that on its own? You don't really need to add anything else, do you? And I'm only going to put a sentiment on that. Uh, you just could do beautiful. all different colours, couldn't you? In the leaves. Um, leaves? Wings. Butterflies don't have leaves, do they? They have wings. <laughs> and let me just grab... I'm going to make this a kind of just because card. So out of the stamp set, I've just heat embossed in white the for you. Maybe that should be the one we do for Facebook because that would be a lovely sentiment just think? to send to somebody, wouldn't it? How lovely. Just to say for you. So we'll give that away on Facebook in a couple of days' time. So Fabulous. look out for that on my Nigel. Yeah, because that'll still page. flatten back down and then whoever gets it at home, you can lift those wings back up. Mm. But can you see the dimension there that you get with those wings then just layering them up? You could stamp them all individually if you wanted to. But this is what I mean about white space. A lot of people will be scared and think that that's too much white space. But when you see it in the flesh and you can see that there's some texture there with the punch detail, it takes all that fright away, if you like. Uh, now, we are live and interactive. And don't forget, if you want to interact with us, you can always send us an email, studio at createandcraft.com. That's what Helen did. She's emailed in. Let's see what Helen has to say. She says, Helen Priestley from Liscard in Cornwall. Um, hello, Claire, Nigel and the crew. Hi, crew. Hello. It's Sam and Katie, this delicious 42 minutes. And other people in the gallery, far too many to mention. Um, it's so awesome to have you on our screens this morning, Claire. Uh, thank you so much for bringing us some amazing products. I'm loving the new collection and I'm so happy to have got the double up paints as I missed out on them last time. Yep, they're back in stock. They are so gorgeous to work with and I can't wait to do some art with my eight-year-old with them as well as my card making. Thank you to you, Helen Priestley, um, down there in the most beautiful... Oh, sorry, hi. I just wanted off to read the screen because I didn't have my specs. <laughs> even though they're here. I could have actually just put them on from here, but now I went to have a look. Uh, so thank you very much to you, Helen, as well. Uh, now they're Eureka, ka, 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 proving to be very popular as well. Uh, you're loving it. It is literally the best thing ever. Uh, Claire loves hers. Tony Darrett loves hers. Um, YouTube ladies are loving theirs as well. Um, if you would like to go for this, it's extended dispatch as from the 2nd of December. 404772 is your item number. Let's check out your baskets as we check out the details of one of the hero products here at Create & Craft. The Eureka 101 watercolour tablet from Stamps by Me is the perfect all-in-one tool for creating professional and sensational looking projects. Watercolour with ease using the Eureka with nine mixing stations set around the tablet and a space to hold your paintbrush. You can even use the clear acrylic door as an additional paint palette that wipes perfectly clean without staining. Stamp with Eureka and the foam mat using both clear and rubber stamps, securing your work in place with the included bar magnet. Accurately stamp every time, safe in the knowledge that if you need repeat the process, it will realign with your work perfectly. The 9x9 scoreboard fits securely into the centre of the tablet, allowing you to make accurate measurements and the ergonomic score tool allows you to score your cards with ease. Flip over the scoreboard to reveal the box template, which allows you to make matching boxes and frames. You can even craft on the go. Simply pack up your Eureka into the included clutch bag and away you go. The Eureka 101 watercolour tablet from Stamps by Me, the pick up and go workstation. YouTube, do you want another little treat? Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. We're on YouTube and they want a little bit of a behind the scenes. So I offered them Sam before, which he was very, very well received. Would you like, would you like a bit of Ollie? It's not a competition, they're both equally as glorious. This is Ollie, everybody. Maybe a little flex from Ollie, who knows? Oh. Say hello okay, to YouTube. Have a go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Ollie. There you go. Oh, wait. we'll see what happens now. Last time, last time YouTube was ablaze. We'll see what happens this time. Uh, right. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's a blaze for the Eureka at the moment. Lots of people talking about the Eureka. So we're going to see this in action. Of course, we've just seen it in action. Of course, uh, four zero four seven seven two is your item number on that one. And we've been using it with a lot of our brand new thirsty brush items. Ollie, it says, yes, Ollie. And it says, come on, Ollie, all over YouTube right now. It's not the first time he's been on the internet. I've Googled, believe you me. Uh, right, shall we go over to the lovely Claire for another yes, fabulous let's demonstration? Yes, do something else. Uh, time for another one before the end of the show. So I'm going to show you how to make a super quick background with the watercolour paints. So I've got my pot of water. Um, let me think about what colours. Let's use some of the different ones. Let's use some greens and yellows. 
Apparently, so Ollie's got... caused a hot flush with some oh. of the ladies. The size of his guns. I'm not saying anything. Have you ever squeezed them? I know you can't at the moment because of social distancing. Uh, no, I have not. Have you not? No, well, that used to be a feature on a show. That'll come back. <laughs> as soon as um, a certain Miss Rona does her thing and goes away, the uh, squeezing the guns will be back. Oh, dear. Right then. So this is the pale ochre, which is a beautiful, vibrant yellow. But then, like I say, you can add more water and make them more translucent if you want. Then I'm going to go into the lighter green, which is the pistachio. These inks are just fabulous. The Aren't double they? up inks, double the pigment. Double the fun. Double the wow. Double the wow. They are. They literally double the pizzazz. And because the... that paper's still a little bit wet, it's going to start to bleed and blend seamlessly. If you need a little bit of help, just add a bit more water to your brush and you can add it in. And then it's going to go into the darker green, which is the spearmint. It's like a lovely teal kind of colour, but they are so smooth. I'll tell mm. you what finish they give when they're, um, when they're in the more opaque state. It reminds me of, you know, distress oxides rather than distress inks. And they've got almost a, a more chalkiness to them rather than a um, translucent ink. It reminds me of that. But of course, in a paint form. But look how they blend, lovely. And obviously, you can blend all of the different colours together. You were saying before you got off to yeah, use the mix lid them as up. like a blending palette. And if you've got the metallic ones as well, you can mix in the metallic ones, no problem at all. Apparently, YouTube say, "Go on, Claire, you should have a squeeze when you can." <laughs> there you go. They're offering you up. There you go. I oh, know it's crazy. Apparently, Joe is. Um, do you know Joe on YouTube? Uh, there's a couple of Joes, but yeah, I think well, I know one which of the Joes one. Wants to tip water over her head. She's that hot right now. It's hot because you've seen Ollie's guns, yes. or oh right, okay. I'd and like she's to in the bathroom. I can say it was your brilliant demos or my inspirational banter, <laughs> no, but no. no, it was Ollie's guns. I can't guns. compete so with Ollie's guns. No, can I? Nobody can, quite frankly. <laughs> they are world class. So I'm drying off with a heat tool here just for quickness. Can you see sometimes when I, before I started to dry, the card had kind of bowed a little bit. That's just the water. I'm using like 250, 300 GSM card here. What I tend to do, if possible, if you're not in a rush and you want to make a few backgrounds at a time and it's bowed, I just leave them because naturally they will just settle. But of course, if you're adding a heat tool, you know, it's gone pretty much straight anyway you can always add your heat to the back so i'm just going to clean up before i make a mess on my actual car blank just to say getting busier and busier for those double up inks when are you back with these inks claire uh, i don't know so it may well be into the new year so All i right. can't so guarantee if you, if you i've got Christmas, no set time then pop these in your basket yeah. now and get checked out and use your two interest free flexi payments to half the stock has already gone so for the card blank, I've done one ahead of time that's super dry and that's with the pinks and the purples. Little bit of black. Do you ever do that with a piece of card? It's completely plain. There was no need you to turn that over. turn it over. No, I, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. It's like automatic, isn't it? Do you never do that with toast? Do you choose which side to butter? Even Ooh, though yeah. really, they're both kind of the same. You've got they? to have the more pleasing one yes, to your eye. It's so true. It's like, well, I'll butter that side. It's weird, isn't it? Hide the crap side Because <laughs> if you think about it, you're eating both sides, aren't you? Exactly. It doesn't make any difference, does it? <laughs> right then. So I've put the pinks and the purples. So we're going to be dark and moody with this. And then I'm going to show you how to use your embossing powders in a slightly different way so let me just pop these aside and I've got a lovely really dark blue in the embossing powders called midnight it's almost like a navy blue these are gorgeous these that? embossing powders look, look at that <laughs> that's insane isn't it so ahead of time I've pre-cut the uh, owl and let's just need a piece of paper to catch and then I'm going to actually uh, emboss that entire die cut so if I get my embossing ink so you could do this two ways you could either turn that over and press it in because it's quite large I'm just gonna go do the whole piece now when I tip my powder I'm going to turn that piece of paper over so it's not going to stick to all that loose ink 
waste any. And now hopefully all this powder will stick to that entire... 60% of our embossing powders have now gone. Wow. Now I've, I've got to... I should mention to Ollie, because he left the studio with his back now, that YouTube is still talking about him. <laughs> I know, honestly. It's Who did they talk about the most? I, uh, Ollie or Sam? Apparently, Ollie. Sorry, Sam's in the studio as well, but apparently it was Ollie by far that has had the most comments. Why? There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's all in the guns, isn't it? <laughs> honestly, it's apparently steamed up Joe's glasses. So Joe's soaking wet and she's got steamed up glasses, bless her heart. What are you lot like? So before I've even heat set that, it's super, super shiny and super glittery. Um, because I don't want to knock any of that powder off, you could use tweezers. I'm just putting my pokey tool in one of the smaller holes to stop it flying across the studio here. Mm -hmm. well, and what we've got a minute say? 30 left. Claire, for anybody out there who's thinking, like, OK, this isn't really my style, but... I I like the idea of trying this, this style. I mean, I think it's wise for people to maybe try and not necessarily broaden their horizons, but maybe go out of their comfort zone a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can try different techniques and follow along with us, like I say, on YouTube and, um, you know, our Facebook groups and things like that. But also think about the kind of requests you sometimes get. Maybe if you've got any gaps in your stash where, oh, yeah, I do get asked a lot for butterflies or I do get asked, to, you know, for children's cards with unicorns or that kind of thing. And you're going to be able to fill those gaps and absolutely make cards for everyone. Everybody. I just think it's glorious. Claire, can I say thank you so much, my lovely? You're will you pick a card and sign a card and I'll give Absolutely. it away on Facebook? Absolutely, of course I will. Travel safe, stay so safe, nice virtual to see you. hugs. Um, thank you to you lovely people out there as well. Thank you to everybody on YouTube. Honestly, apparently now you've got two teams. You've got Sam's the man <laughs> and you've got good golly, it's Ollie. So apparently those are the two teams at the moment. I'm thinking we should get Sam and Ollie, like, fight it out when they can in the ring. Do you know what I mean? Like, see who can be the U YouTube winner, quite frankly. Totally. It'll be a pay-per-view. Um, everything's on the website. It is, of course, all the W's dot. Creativecraft.com. Lovely. Right, Ollie, do you want to come into the menu? You can just stand there for the menu, mate. <laughs> YouTube loves you. It's got to be done. Uh, from me and Ajme, I will see you after the break. Ollie's here to tell you more shows that are coming up very, very soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye. <laughs>